What is going on guys? Welcome to Tight Lines. I want to take a moment and encourage you all to hit the subscribe button so you never miss the latest Fishing Planet tips, tricks, and guides. Today we're going to be headed over to Falcon Lake, Oregon to catch some trout. We're going to be catching red band, cutthroat, browns, and rainbows. So let's jump right into it and cover the gear that we're going to be using today. For this trip, I'm going to be using the Jig Winner 8 foot 10 spinning rod paired with the Fat Boy Spin 4000. For line, I'm going to be using braided line that is 13 pound test. I'm also going to be using a narrow spoon that is silver and green. You can use another color narrow spoon. I've had success with a couple of other ones. In particular, the ones that I've had the best luck with besides the green and silver has been the gold or the black. So let's jump right over folks and without further ado I bring to you Falcon Lake. So once you get into Falcon Lake what you're going to want to do is come right over here to the mountain watcher you're going to want to spawn right there. Now once you get here, you're going to want to check the prime time on the chap chart, the bite chart, sorry. And you're going to see that it's not going to be real well until about 1 o'clock. So we're going to go ahead and jump straight to there. So now that we've got all that done, what we're going to do is... Cast straight out towards that rock that's at the tip of my rod. You're going to let your lure sink to about mid-water column and start your retrieve. For your retrieve, we're going to twitch it back to us. Just nice and slow, uh, not too fast. There we go with the fish home. This feels like a bit of a smaller fish. We we'll get in and see what we got. That is a smallmouth bass. That is not what we're looking for. We're going to toss him in the keep net anyway for later and get right back out on the water. And we have another fish on. This fish feels pretty all right. Oh no. There we go. There we go. We're going to get him. Definitely feels like a solid fish. See what we got. We got a unique rainbow trout. That is a beautiful fish. Definitely not going to complain. We're going to go ahead and put him right in the keep net. We're going to get right back out there. Same thing. Twitch it right back to you. Got a strike. Fish on. Fish just did a wall run. That was amazing. Fish feels all right. Doesn't feel too big, but feels all right. Nice. 
Nice little brown trout. We will take it, put it in the keep net. We're going to go ahead and toss towards that other rock. You really want to focus anywhere kind of around rocks for the trout to do well. You can see here we have another fish on. If I can keep the line tight. That fish just caught more air than a skateboard at the X Games. <laughs> I reel him in. And there we have it, folks. Trophy Oregon Red Band Trout. I did come a little bit overpowered for some of these fish as far as my rod and reel. So you'll see those three red arrows. That, that just means I'm using too much rod, reel, line, or some combination of uh, for those fish. We have another fish on. This fish feels... Uh, Nice, it feels nice. It definitely feels like a good fish. He is coming straight towards me. I think we got him. I think we can keep up. There we go, a trophy cutthroat trout. Not gonna complain, not gonna complain. I'm gonna cast right back out. You can come fish with a float rod or a bottom rod if that's more your style. If you are gonna do that, I would say go to the same places I'm gonna show you today. Uh, but bring like worms or artificial eggs, spawn sacks, something like that, and you should be able to do very well uh, with a float rod or a bottom rod. We have another fish on. This one feels like a, like a good fish. This fish makes me happy. Happy, happy, happy. That is a trophy rainbow trout. We'll take it. We'll take it all day. Another great place that you can go to catch trout here is actually going to be right down here. We're going to head and spawn right over there and I'll show you guys around there just real quick like. So this is all real narrow. There's a, some deep holes out there. So anywhere you cast through here you should be set up pretty good to catch some nice, really, really nice trout. Same thing, let it sink to the middle mid water, mid water column and just twitch it right back and get a fish on right there, first cast. Feels like a nice fish. So we're going to keep dragging him in, see what we got on the line. Looks like a brown. And it is a brown. Gorgeous fish, gorgeous fish. Let's get back out of there. Twitch that right back to us, mid-water column on that narrow spoon. Narrow spoon is an absolute trout slayer. Another fish on.
He pulled a little bit. He pulled a little bit. Trophy rainbow trout. That makes me happy. Step over just a little bit. Try to hit the other side of that, that deep hole over there. We got a fish on. Well, I'm bringing this fish in. I do just want to let you guys know if there's ever any kind of fishing planet video, a fish you're trying to catch and can't do it, or anything, and you want to see it posted, just let me know in the comments below, and I will do my absolute best to make a video on that and get it up for you to see right we got a trophy cutthroat gorgeous fish we're gonna toss that in the bag and get right back out there that same spot fish on fish way way out there he feels nice he's coming in pretty quick he's fighting a little he's trying We got a, a trophy rainbow trout. We're going to go all the way over to the right hand side against the bank over there. Pull that into us. A narrow spoon, a narrow spoon and a good twitch. It's really a secret to Falcon Lake. Ooh, there we go, we got another fish on. This feels like a solid fish. He feels like an absolute hog of a fish. I'm going to go ahead and call it right now, folks, and say this is probably our trophy brown. And it is indeed a trophy brown. That's a gorgeous fish. Lots of money to be made here. Good XP to be made here. Probably one of the funner places to fish in Fishing Planet. Guys, thank you so much for watching. If this video helped you out and you want to see more helpful Fishing Planet videos, please hit the subscribe button. Let us know in the comments section below that this video helped you out. And we will see you next time.